Okay, sorry guys. So, the um, next one I have is this one. This is my first ever foundation I had. I recommend it for like a first foundation, but not as a very good foundation. It's absolutely rubbish. It is so dark. It's the Mission Correction. Um, um, I don't think I had used it because I found out it was rubbish. But yeah, this one is in this little tiny little shade. Hang on, bear with me. Free medium. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, and now this one is what my auntie gave me. It is a four almond, way too dark, because like I said, it's a four. Um, but yeah, so this is the one it is. It's an all day fresh matte finish. That is not, but it comes out really watery. I don't recommend it, but that's fine. This one is, like I said, a four almond. And then the next one isn't really foundation. This is a tinted moisturizer. Um, this one has. I can't remember what it's got on it. Basically, let me see if it tells me what color it is. Don't I? Um, I think it used to be here, but they, the person covered up. But yeah, so basically, if you don't fancy wearing a foundation, then just put this over. But like I said, it's just way too light for my skin. So you can't see it when it's on, but yeah. Okay, this is the next one I have. It is the Stay Matte Rumble London Last Imperfection Press Powder. Now, I find sometimes that if my foundation is too dark, put this over the top and it helps it. Now, this one is... A number one transparent one i have a free as well but yeah that is all of my foundation sorry bear with me it is not focusing right there this is this tray right now all right so to show you that now i'm going to show you all of my eyeliners and everything so bear with me here. let me just get this Sorted. Okay, now you'll be shocked at how many eyeliners I've got. Because I don't really use a lot of eyeliners, but at the end of the day, I do sometimes. It depends on like, what my mood is. It's like, so if I'm feeling a mood and I'm like, okay, I want to wear something very like dark or dreary or something, or if not, then. Maybe I just want to wear something just nice for the day. So these are all that I got. So I'll show you my first ever eyeliner. What was this one here? No, nope. oh, it was this one here. The it's not gonna focus now. Hello. 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 So look, and it's just, I don't know if I do it, it's just that tip, so, I don't know actually, I think that's a new one, oops, new, <laughs> got this going all over my hand, never mind, that's what white weights are for. I think I checked out my first ever one actually. Oh, I must say, some of them I have smell like really fishy. Alright, so this is my um, next one. It is the. Come on. Extreme 24 hour tip liner now as you can see i have just used them on my hands so the first one is this one the second one is the cat eye so 
This is the my third favourite one. This one is the Line and Flick Revolution. Yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of Revolution ones. So on this side, it is you know, a wingtip side. Is that focus? Hang on, put it on me, sorry. So wingtip side. Okay, and then on the second side, it is a pencil. That is one thing I love, because if you guys don't want to, like, wear, like, um, sorry, if you guys don't want to wear, like, liquid eyeliner for the day, then you're like, oh, yeah, I'll just put some, um, what do you call it, some, um, thingy, what do you call it, Bear me, guys, I haven't, I haven't got my camera. Oh no, that's just my camera. Sorry, I'm still getting used to my camera. When my friend loves about me. All right, this one here is the next one. It is called if it focuses, you gotta focus. Hello. There, it is the masterpiece high percentage liquid eyeliner. 15 charcoal and it's by Matt's Factor. This one is also really pretty but it's got a different tip. I don't know if it'll focus for you. This is the tip. I absolutely love it. It's really nice. It comes out grey though. So that one kind of puts me off a bit to be honest because I'm like that's not really a standard eyeliner but yeah, um, and then the next one I have got is this one that I want out of a magazine. It is called High High Impact Eyeliner. This one is a crayon that I sometimes use just to fill in my eyes with. Um, this was the one that I used to use a lot when I wanted to wear like a lot of black and stuff and when I was a goth. That was like a stage I went through. Alright, the next. I don't really use liquid eyeliners to be honest because I don't get on with them. But this is the AA Captain number 7. Um, come on. Sorry, but I'm not focusing. Oh, there you are. Um, very something eyeliner, but yeah, I'm not gonna open this one because it's a bit of a pain. Hang on, bear with me. Let me just. Okay, this is it. It kind of has dried up a bit, to be honest, but that one okay so yeah i'm not too sure how much everything is like i said i've had it for a long time this is another crayon it's waterproof what i love um this one is the cold band bonjour paris ombre something eyeshadow and liner um yeah, this is another one that's hard to get off bear with me it doesn't really look very good, does it? It's in a bit of a bad state, but never mind. <laughs> That's what happens when you um, wear a lot of makeup. Now, this one isn't open, as you guys can see. It's still in the seal. This is the one that came with the set. Now, it's good because this is a sharpener here. But this is what this one's called, if it focuses. Okay. So, it's the Technique Eyeliner. Eyeliner pencil with smudge and sharpener. So this is the smudger. I used to have one of these pencils. I used to love these. But yeah, I haven't opened it. I'll talk about that with the new stuff. Alright, now this is the next one. 
Okay, these are pencils I'm going on to now. So this is like a small, just tiny black pencil. I'm not going to focus on this one because, yeah, it's a pain to focus. Right, this is the next one. Just another black one. It's a bit sharp, but this one is the Made in China one. <laughs> That's all it says, Made in China. So I don't know what that one is. Um, this is a lifesaver. If you haven't got any... Um, which I think was called. Got any blush? Then this is called cheek frosting. You just put a little bit on. Oh, sorry, but I think my foot's gone. You just put um, a little bit on your um, cheeks, and basically, it will work as a blush. So does that. Okay, and then this is the last black one I have. I don't know who made it because it's like worn off because I've had this one for a very long time. It's not actually black actually, it's grey, as you guys can see. But yeah. I have a purple one that is like pretty blunt. I'm gonna have to see if I can get that down somehow. Um but yeah, if you guys wanna know what it is, it's the eyeshadow pencil waterproof and smudge long wearing by baby me but yeah that's that one that's all my favorite i have this gold one well that was running away <laughs> over there but yeah okay so this that's this one i have a purple one and these ones are the bright eye eye pencil ones and this is it's made in china <laughs> about me they are rolling away this is the next one it's blue it's another bright eye one and then i have a green one lastly i have another gold one and this is a cover star perfection brow pencil Oh, and then I have this one, which is another one of those. And then I have a pink one that is a CS Coco liner. And that's the last thing I have as a lip gloss on that section there. Okay, so that's everything I have in that section. I'm not going to show you guys the other stuff because that's all the same sort of stuff as last time. So, um, yeah, I will just crack on to the actual video now, so I hope you guys enjoy.